crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. The rolling hills of southeast Washington. More than 100 feet of soil make this one of the richest farming regions on the planet. But where did the soils come from? Is it true that the soils are volcanic? Rich and fertile volcanic soils blown down wind from active Cascade volcanoes? The answer is no. This is wind blown silt. The soil's out here in the Palouse. There's hardly any volcanic ash in this stuff. This is loose. And the minerals in the loose are light colored minerals. Surprisingly, the bedrock below the loose basalt has dark colored minerals in it. This is unusual because usually soils are the result of parent material, the bedrock, breaking down. But out here in the Palouse, the loose is soft, the basalt rings like a bell. So where did the loose come from? The Canada ice sheet to the north and mountain glaciers of the Cascades to the west. The glacial ice ground bedrock down to kitchen flour. The silt got flushed onto plains in front of the ice. And then winds blew the loose onto the landscape downwind. Over two million years, the entire span of the Ice Age, the silt piled up to form the Palouse Hills, a lasting legacy of our glacial past. Palouse Falls, the official waterfall of Washington State, lies on the Palouse River. The waterfall is tucked into a coulee that was carved quickly, 15,000 years ago, by powerful angry floods. It was right here, along a major path of the Ice Age floods, that all of the loose was swept away in an instant, leaving only interconnected canyons that surround the majestic falls. But nearby, the undulating green landscape stretches on and on, untouched by the destructive floods. And the yields keep coming from the fields. There's never been a crop failure out here in more than a century. Luss is the Goldilocks of soils. The texture, the grain size, is just right for storing water. months of snow melt being stored perfectly in these soils. If the hills were made of sand, the water would drain too fast. If the hills were made of clay, the water would pond, be too wet. So the Goldilocks soils, the loose soils, the texture is just right for storing water. Kevin Pogue, a geology professor from Walla Walla, teaches among the rolling hills of Goldilocks soils. He's become an expert consultant for an exciting new industry in eastern Washington. Well, the reason we can grow such great grapes and make such terrific wine is we have uh, a, a soil that's just ideal for allowing uh, drip irrigation to be managed by the viticulturalist. You know, you don't want the the berries to be too big or the clusters to be too fat. You want a higher skin to juice ratio so you get more flavors from the grapes. You want the sugar content of the grapes and the acid content of the grapes to be absolutely in harmony. And one way to control that is through the way you manage water. Water and soil, a magic combination. Ice Age Luss setting the table for one of the richest agricultural regions in the world, Palouse Luce.